Hi, welcome to the beautiful town of Tsumeb, nestled in the heart of Namibia's captivating landscapes, known for its rich cultural heritage and breathtaking natural beauty. Tsumeb offers an unforgettable camping experience for the whole family. And amidst this enchanting settling lies Kupfakul Resort, a true oasis for natural enthusiasts and adventure seekers. This tranquil haven is the perfect destination for those seeking to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. At Cooper Co Resort, you'll discover a harmonious blend of modern comfort and untouched wilderness. Immerse yourself in the lush surroundings where vibrant greenery and crystal clear waters create a serene ambience. So welcome to Chumab, Namibia. We will be camping at the Cooper Co Resort with my family and I. I hope you enjoy the camp. So today we are going camping. I'm actually the last person at home. Everybody's already gone. I was supposed to start filming, filming a long time ago. Sorry guys, I'm talking so fast. Actually waiting for the car to pick me up. And then yeah, so but my brother and his friends are there. My sister and her friends are there. So yeah, taking this chance to take them camping because I don't know when next I'm going to have a chance to do that. And I did actually promise them that the next time I come back to Namibia, I'm going to take them camping. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So yeah, wish me luck, you guys, because taking care of so, so many kids is not that easy. And of course, I owe it to their parents. And um, I obviously did promise their parents that I'm going to take care of them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'll update you guys as soon as I'm there. Okay, cheers. Oh, guys, look at the blue sky. Oh, I missed that. Oh, it's cooked for cool. No, the family's here and we are camping today. Okay, guys, here is Kufa Cola Resort. We yeah. are at the swimming pool. Where, where's the number? Hmm? So, this is everyone else. Hmm? Okay, we made it. Right now, we are setting up our tents. So, we're just having a little bit of some fun housing. Eh? What's up? This is my little sister running away. <laughs> mm. This is my aunt, as always. <laughs> so all in all, it's a pretty good place. Okay, our campsite is complete. But it seems like the rest are still too busy with theirs. <laughs> As you pass by the reception of Kufarkwala, you are greeted by a large variety of angelfish and as you keep going through the hallway, you will notice that there is a restaurant at the left corner of it which has a large variety and quantity of foods to pick from from its menu. Very delicious. And as you keep going through the bushes, you will notice there is a somewhat Olympic style swimming pool which is an amazing place to swim at. But unfortunately, there is no lifeguard, so it is swim at your own risk. But I would give this a 7 out of 10, because the view, the grass, everything is simply amazing. I love it. My brother and his friends literally put, made the fire and they dared to put an empty pot here. Please tell me what to do with them, you guys. Like, how? What, tonight? It's a little cloudy, so we don't have much stars, but you can still see them, and they're so bright. And this is the amazing thing about Namibia, you always, always have this bright sky with so, so many stars. And then on top of that, it's a full moon today, so you can see there. These are the bathrooms, by the way, and they are always very clean. I'll show you guys a little bit more. And that is 
and his friends convinced us not to buy fire starters because they are professionals at making the fire but they disappeared and the fire died so we went to get the fire starters and now the fire is working perfectly well guys these are so helpful because initially our fire wasn't even burning and it actually they actually go for 25 in kiris probably cheaper somewhere else but obviously kiris prices are always a bit high but we bought them there because it's closer to where we're camping so yeah now guys, are we ready? Yeah! <laughs> ready? <laughs> I also feel ready now because the fire at least is up. Exactly. Woo, this is getting exciting. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm still wondering who's going to be the chefs for today. What do you guys think? Out of the topic. Uh, what? <laughs> Any volunteers? <laughs> Who are going to be the chefs? Who's going to be the chef? Not me. <laughs> right. So guys, where were you? Please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So when you came to the camp, you guys were like, oh, you guys are going to make us a lit fire. And guess what happened to your fire? It died. That's big enough, bro. And then guess what? We had to fix your mistake. <laughs> All right. So apparently, cause we had to fix the mistake, and also owing to the fact that men are better cooks. Okay. Guess who's making poiki? Before we start to the camp, let me first of all just welcome you guys to the camp. Uh, hope you guys are gonna have a great time. And as always, the rules haven't changed. No swimming without supervision and no leaving the campsite without any supervision. There should always, always be one person. There should always be one person there and there should always be one person supervising here. Okay, so guys, those are the basic rules. Don't swim without supervision and don't leave the campsite empty without anyone. And don't leave your tents open. Otherwise, you guys are going to sleep with mosquitoes, insects and some crawling stuff. Okay, cool? Cool. All right. And as always, we always have a camp name, so we are going to start <coughs> with suggestions and then we're going to vote. Whoever gets the highest cheer will go with that name. Let's start with Boiki. Yeah. What's your name? What's the name that we're going with? RC, Rawas Chems. Rawas Chems. Mm -hmm. That's a bit self centered. I don't want to be the main character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but good try, good try, good try. Next. Camp eh? oh, Quarrels. Camp Quarrels. 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 Mm -hmm. What's a quarrel? SpongeBob. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It just came out my it just came up. I don't even know what it means. Alright, next. The camping squad. The camping squad. Okay. You know, I think. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Camera lady. Camp Tambula. Tambula. Yeah. I'm also going with Camp Tambula. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Auntie. Camp Tambula. Tambula. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Tambula. So guys, what do you think? Tambula. 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 All right. Tambula. So guys, who can do the Kem Tambula move? Let's go. Uh, give me, give me. Give me, give me. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Come, Ati, come. Come. Oh. <laughs> okay. On three, two, one. Three, two, and three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tambula. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right guys awesome so i hope you guys Smile. i hope you guys do enjoy the camp that's the most important thing the most important thing is to be happy bring bring good vibes no fighting no being sad no negative energy are we good yeah. Okay. Awesome. So let's get the poiki rolling. Tambula. Tambula. Fastest way. 
I'm going to show you the fastest way. Now you can go to First step, get the meat. Any meat. Every meat. Get the potatoes. It's not a poiki without any potatoes, you know? Uh-huh. Okay? Alright. If, if the pot is black, it's not black. There's something wrong with the poiki. Okay, let's check. Let's check if the pot is black. The pot is black. Alright. Yeah, that's a poiki pot. Okay. Second step. Second step. We add water in the poiki pot. Uh-huh. As you can see here. The third and final step. This is the most crucial step. Uh-huh. Okay. Get yourself a local woman. <laughs> That's the last thing you need. A local woman. As you can see, I found one here from a convenience store. And you're done. Yeah, it's that simple. You know? As simple as that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, 40, 50 minutes later, the poik is magically done. That's all. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. First of all, because apparently my steps weren't valid enough, we're going to show you how to cook a poiki without a woman. You throw in the beef, like such. After that, you cut the, you cut the pork. Guys, bro, this is, my brother is such a character, guys. That's what it is. For the flavor. Okay, so are you going to close the pot first or how? Close the pot, don't worry. It's a process. Okay, okay. You see, so as this boils, we're going to add in more meat because a poiki is just a mixture of everything, you know? Yeah. Chicken, beef, pork, potatoes. That's a poiki. The poiki always, the poiki pot the poiki always has always to be? be black. This Oshuambo pot, pot. Ah. You see? It has to look like this. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Guys, how's it going? When do we put in the gizzard? Or how are we going to cook the gizzard? The gizzard? Uh -huh. You treat the gizzard the same way you're going to treat the rest of this meat. None of them are special. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> See? The okay. <laughs> so welcome back to Cooking with Vellum. Uh -huh. So since the gizzard is naturally hard, we're going to throw it right away. From there, you open the pot. As such, then you just... It's the as such for me. What do you think there? Oh, big one. It's the as such for me. See? Just like that, you squeeze it out. You don't open it and throw it out. You squeeze it out. Okay, good. So where's my kitchen knife? I need the kitchen knife. Okay. What do you need this, sir? Any. <laughs> It kind of looks weird because it's just meat and water, né? but as you progressively cook the meat, né, it becomes less and less and more thick, you know? Uh huh. Because poiki is supposed to be thick. If it's not thick, it's just water and oil. Mm. Virtually. <laughs> okay, okay. my dear. So, first, now we're going to close the poiki pot and we're going to attend to the fire. Alright, this okay. fire definitely needs attention. Uh huh. Then one day they did decided for them to go to a campsite mm -hmm. in the woods. Before that night they went in the camp. Like for camp, huh? Hold on. Eh? The first night the son woke up with, with sores Ooh. on his legs, like scratch marks. When that was happening, like during the night, he could not see what was doing it. He only sees, he only saw scratch marks on his legs. <laughs> nah, like that gum. And then the next morning, eh, they didn't find the boy in the tent. <gasps> yeah. It's it. Back and go back home. The end. <laughs> okay. Story time with Vellum. I'm gonna tell you a story, eh? An Oshu Vambo story. Has been passed down through generations, and everybody, you know, every bamboo in there, or every bamboo in my family knows about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is like 200 years back. Oh, mm -hmm. now this is when tribes were tribes, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there was a thing called Oketena Micha. Mm -hmm. You see, so this thing was a very dangerous bird, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and instead of making a mocking sound or any bird noise like kaka hmm, it will make it will make the same just like its name it would repeat o katana nija hmm? so this bird every vambu knows about this bird hmm? because 200 years back ne, there were two local boys mm-hmm. hmm? two local boys because as you know um the uh, back then farming was the trend mm-hmm. hmm? so there were two local boys that lost two goats yeah. and losing two goats is a very dangerous thing because not only would you get the wrath of your father but your mother especially because losing your goat that's like losing 500 dollars <gasps> you know because back then losing a cattle a goat now that was your pride mm. that was your december food you know mm. so these two local boys after getting the after getting beat the hell out of the mom mm. they were sent middle of the night at eight o'clock can you imagine eight o'clock <gasps> was sent back to go look for the goats again Oh my, oh my goodness. You see? Stuck. Now this is when the story gets stuck. <gasps> hmm? Because as soon as it's late and you're looking for goats, you'll hear this repeated sound. <gasps> now that is exactly what the bird would say. And it's so creepy though. Because once you hear this, you it gets louder and louder and louder and you get confused. You wonder if it's people saying it or it's a bird. Hmm? And there was always this sound. The longer it took, the louder it got. And once it stopped, once this sound stopped, that's when you know, time's up. Hmm? Because when you stay too long in the field, looking for goats and cattle, you will end up this you will disappear oh! you will disappear completely without a trace and once you disappear that's that's a close case nobody's gonna look for you <gasps> hmm? what? funny thing is ne, this was the motivation factor that they used not to allow people to lose goats because usually if you lost the goat or a cow you're not going back home until you find it because if you are sending back to go get it they're gone <gasps> Can you imagine you're gone? Oh my gosh, hmm? you are gone. The end. Oh my happen. goodness. Hmm? It still happens, but we use logic to explain these things. You say kidnapping, but usually it's these things. <gasps> hmm? Oh my goodness. Thank you for the story. <gasps> Keep for believing you guys. So we decided to have some snacks while the pork is cooking. We were just having snacks. Woo, guys, look at this. It looks so, so good. Because potatoes make someone full, hey? Here you go, darling. Then we have next. This one? Right. Good job, Daddy. All right, my God. But me, if I give you a big slice of meat, you must remember me. <laughs> you know those aunties at weddings that are not giving you meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just there like, yeah, it's good. Right guys, who's going to say grace for us? Pastor. Pastor. Great, sir. Great. Let's pray. Alright guys, how is the food? Delicious. Belamino, how's the food? Proper boy king. Yo, proper boy. The ne- There's nothing there. <laughs> That's how boys work. <laughs> After a long day at the shower and taking care of the kids, I was so exhausted so I decided to go and take a warm shower and call it a day. As you can see you guys, these are the bathrooms. So the bathroom and the shower are actually together and then the shower is really really spacious. I don't even think I got the right angle but the good thing is you've actually got all the privacy to yourself so you can simply lock the main door and then you've got the bathroom, the shower and the middle section to yourself. 
This is how much I love this bathroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Is making me laugh. <laughs> I'll tell you guys tomorrow morning what she said. <laughs>